What's up everybody? This is the Shogun bringing you an Atticus video that originally was going to be a full match video but due to PSN restraints on recording I was unable to get the whole video and it got cut out so what I'm doing now is uh, showing highlights from a previous match with Atticus while trying to explain some of the things that were missing from the video and just try to highlight the, the parts that I feel are most crucial from the video now as far as things missing I was talking about Atticus charge hook and it's very important to start all encounters with the charge hook as the it, the melee portion of his attacks can actually cancel out the animation which you can actually get that damage with the charge hook. Uh, the second thing is his pounce attack. I rather use that as an escape tactic because of his cooldown as opposed to disperse because it doesn't do much damage and the disperse isn't really good so you pretty much want to get out of there with it um, and the third thing that was not mentioned was the um, hydronic arc and when to use it I usually only use it on three occasions one when I know that I can get a kill at full charges uh, two whenever I just want to push enemies out of a zone or three when I know um, I'm under four charges and it won't affect my charges because I want to try to keep max charges so those are the things that got uh, that weren't mentioned if there's anything else I'll be sure to mention it uh, in the in, with subtitles or thumbnails or something like that um, so hope you guys enjoy and see see some ways you can play Atticus or I feel a very effective way to play Atticus to make him actually pretty good so enjoy guys um, I possibly can or however I possibly can so I usually don't use abilities pre full charge I mean I'm sorry post full charge because of the fact that I want to keep those uh, charges uh, for for additional effects and by the time I get level 5 with the uh, health regeneration which I'll touch that when I get to level 5 now, uh, when shards appear, which they always appear at uh, 28 minutes, I try to get them as soon as possible. Um, and try to max out my ability as soon as possible because I have to stay on the front lines being a uh, disruptor tank. So I have to stay on the front lines. So I try to get these out the way, the early levels of the game, and get my gear out the way because it's very crucial to be really good with Atticus. Or be able to perform well with Atticus. See, in this case, I feel that I'd be able to get some charges back with these kills. So I went on ahead and used my ability. And see, I'm back at full again. Now, I, on this case, uh, I will go for the ten, uh, tenacity, or however you pronounce it, um, for the fact that I do have an Alani. Now, if I was trying to go for more of a uh, tankier build, I would go for the health steal. And with the uh, rapid... Uh, with my idea of having rapid hits, then it, it really would boast that. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this kill, but I'm going to try to disrupt and push her out of here is my goal. Your, uh, your goal with Atticus is not to kill. You want to push them out. You leave the killing to your teammates, and you basically want to effectively disrupt them and push them out. Okay, I gotta help Gold. She's going in pretty deep. Anyways. Go back for health unless I really need to. Alright, I see my team has that, so I'm gonna take this out. This should be a dead Oscar Mike in that case. Now I always go for movement speed over uh, reducing damage when I'm going more of a damage dealing style for the fact that uh, with his legendary it slows enemies during the hydronic arc so they'll be slowed and you'll be sped up which is really needed for Atticus for the fact that he's so slow so he's actually able better disrupt with that. 
Okay, I got three on me, so I'm gonna try to use this to my advantage. See, they're all slow now, and I'm able to move around them, and probably effectively getting a, a double kill, possible double kill in this case. Okay, uh, he's out. I'll tr there we go, we got a triple kill. All right, now, this is not a choice. Um, this is a necessity. I always get hydronic generation. Now I'm in the mode of uh, dispersing and really disrupting now. Now I've reached disruption level. You want to get the regeneration over anything else for the fact it will keep you in the middle of the fight and you will be able to fully support your team teammates as a disruptor. I gotta help my teammate right here and try to get a dispersion. She killed before I could get both of them dispersed, but the idea is still there. See? Now hopefully I can push her back. She might get me. So this relief comes in and dispersed her and my teammate was able to finish it off. That'll work. Now the more charges I get, the more likely I am to be able to stay sustained. So this is where the fast attacks come into play. Now if I had the health on top of this, I'll really be able to sustain even better. But since I want a more damage dealing style, um, I have enough sustainability to where I can, you know, still push and disrupt. Let's get to know one In this case, I'm trying to push these two out away from my teammate. If I get the kill, that's good. But it ultimately, it's to push them back. Alright, now I'm a, we got Egress blocked off. I should get a kill. That's good. Now I'm going to sit on these full charges for the fact that I do have my ultimate now so I can really disrupt. Now unless I really need this kill, I'll use the ability. But as you see, I didn't really need it. All right, so looks like they need more help on the right side. Okay, this is the time to do it. Where I have multiple teammates and you want to disrupt. See, I'm blocking off his egress just for that reason. You, you want to body block, you want to disrupt, you want to do all of that stuff. See, I'm going to block off his egress now. See, I got the mark on him so I can see where he, exactly where he's going. See if I get this kill. I use that to try to get the kill. I don't think I'll be able to. No. That was risky, but you know, I went for it anyways to try to push him back. I mean, well, I did push him back, but I went in for the kill. But I, I did what I needed to do, was successfully push him back. Right, I'm going to disrupt. What the? Oh, yeah, I disrupted. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, uh, got to get out. And this is another reason why with the movement speed built on that, it, it really helps you get out of tight s s cases, too. Ooh, that was a nice double team by them. Holy crap. Okay. See if I can give me some charges and try to get some more health. This. Try to block off the egress. Alright, they're blocked off. So my teammates were able to get the kill. Now, I always go attack speed. Um. There's no reason to go max health with Atticus, because you're just going to give yourself more health just to die. So always go attack speed, and um, always go attack speed. Don't. Okay, 
Okay, I got three right there. So this is for dis effective uh, disperse. As long as my gold is with me, hopefully he sees it. Okay, he sees it. So he's blocking off one way. I got it this way. That's really good. And ultimately push them back. Which what you want to do with Atticus is push people back. Yeah. All right, cut off his means. If I can see him. Okay, he went the other way. But that, see, the block, I was able to block this way off to force him to go the long way, which my longer range character was able to take him out. I prefer the area of effect over the uh, Giant minion moving out. Bring every effect the over the damage because it's only 67 damage and the times that you want to uh, use your leap you have a better chance of dispersing them the way uh, dispersing them and overall just hitting more people so. Take me out in the process. Ugh. I don't know if somebody's coming. I don't have any charges. Crap. Minrec is pleased with you. We might just live through this. Get some charges right here to help my sustainability. See, I'll charge now, so I ain't gotta do it later. That was actually pretty risky what I just did, then I usually don't try to disperse in that case. But seeing as they were occupied, I was able to do it. And I have my other abilities to get out of hasty situations. But for the most part, that is not recommended. Giant minion deployed. Shepherd it to our altar. Always go for hydronic chain, uh, and this is where the life steal is so crucial, because all of the uh, the drain that you get from the uh, close closer enemies and everything all chains together. I gotta help my. Uh, I can disperse her real quick. Just body block. Now, level 10, I always go for the damage 
um, damage on the ground because he's not meant to kill. He's meant to disrupt. So if you can get a kill from it, that's good too. But mainly his idea is to disrupt. It's, it's not to kill. And uh, pretty much there you have it. Uh, that's how I try to run Atticus effectively. Um, and just efficiently, I feel. Excuse me, <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll see the post game and just see exactly what I did um, and all that. But as you can see, I was able to disrupt tank pretty effectively uh, with the setup that I used. I was able to get decent amount of kills. I was able to push back the idea behind the character. I was able to do pretty effectively, I feel. And I uh, got 12 kills, 13 assists, 34 minions. I able to build turrets, destroy turrets, and damage. There you go. You have it. And also the highest damage out the team. And actually out the whole group. So that's all, folks. Uh, that's what I want to show. So he's not a bad character per se. Like, I guess as bad as what a lot of people are saying. He's not as bad. Well, I um, guess that's it for the video. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. Can subscribe if you want to um with enough interest i might make more videos of other characters too but once again this is shogun signing out peace out everybody